Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Yasa's Universe. It's me, Yasa. Oh, this is going to be an all signs reading. This is going to be for May 29 through June 4. Let's get some general messages, love messages, um, whatever comes out. This is a whatever comes out type of reading, okay? You guys, check the description box. Some helpful information is there. Also, how to book a personal reading with me. Um, you can email me for inquiries as well. You guys can donate to the channel through PayPal, Cash App, and GoFundMe. A free way to support this channel will be to like this video. You can comment and hit that notification bell, subscribe. You guys check the comment section as well. I usually put comments in the comment section for you guys. And we'll jump into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Please give me clear honest messages. This is for all signs. May 29 through June 4, 2022. Okay. All the way from Aries to Pisces. I want to see any general messages and then pull from the um, Romance Angels. This is for Aries. Okay, you're ignoring someone or blocking someone and deciding to move forward and heal. You could be dealing with the Cancer or an Aquarius. What's the Two of Swords about? Five of Swords. There was an argument and you were, you're just done. Somebody thinks that they can say whatever they want to say to you and then talk to you again like nothing happened. Yeah, it's because you know this person. It could be family, your children, or a lover you have history with. Someone thinks just because y'all are family or y'all been together for a long time or something that they can do whatever they want. They can continue playing these childish games and everything's going to be gravy. No, that's not true. Just because we're family or just because we're related, just because, you know, we have kids together or just because we've been together for this long time. I don't know why somebody thinks that they can do what they do and everything be cool the next minute later and it's like no nah, i still remember what you did i still remember what you said and you're gonna move forward from that setting i see you setting boundaries with this person setting yourself free from this person in some type of way and it's going to be very healing for you you can be dealing with the cancer aquarius um aries leo sag gemini libra aquarius okay Also, I see you ignoring one person and you're going towards an, a fire sign. You're sending messages to a, this fire sign. If this is you sending messages to someone. Okay, Aries. What's going on in Aries love life? Okay. Overall energy is you deserve love. Yeah, it's like... You deserve love. Aries is like, I deserve love. I'm not really trying to let anybody jeopardize this. I am lovable. I'm cute. I'm fun. I'm flirty. Yeah, that's what that page of wands was for. Um, the card that came out was deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask. So what is that about? For Aries. What's going on in Aries love life? page of pentacles you can be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn sun moon rising venus you feel stuck or trapped with this person because you're married to them someone could be afraid of commitment someone could be offering you commitment and you are unsure about it you don't really want to do it it's a big responsibility yeah you're indecisive you're undecided about it you or this person could be giving to two people, this Aquarius or this Taurus. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Check out the reading that I did for you guys, um, Aries, because it, it was kind of something like this. I see you could have two options that you want to choose from, this Earth sign or this Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. You're stuck in your head about it. Someone is being very deceptive. So Aries, if you feel like somebody is playing you or unsure about you, they are. Three of Pentacles, exactly. 
this person is playing games or this is you Aquarius playing these games Four of Pentacles, a, a lot of earth energy. You could be dealing with an earth sign. Six of Swords, you're deciding to move on, move forward. Maybe you are undecided. Maybe So what I'm getting is, so Aries, you've been deceiving yourself and you've been deceiving this person. You, I don't think, I think you like them, but not to the point to where you want to settle down with them. So I'm, what the energy I'm getting, this is either you or this person. Take it how it resonates. So you or this person, you're not used to people, places, things that are good for you. You're not. So your trauma is showing because I see you moving on from something that's, it looks kind of solid. We got the four of pentacles, six of pentacles, three of pentacles. All of this stability, two of pentacles, page of pentacles. There's no kings or queens that came out. So maybe this is why you're moving forward. Like, you're not really sure if you want to take the time and invest in this growing, this relationship growing, or this person. It would take a little work, but nothing that you can't handle, Aries. Or the cross watcher for Aries. Strength. You could have Leo in your chart. I, I do see you holding back. So I see you, the lovers is here though. There's a connection here. Why, how does Aries feel? How does Aries feel? Ace of Wands, you want a new beginning. The Empress, you could be pregnant again. Eight of Wands. You, so you could have two people, like I said, and you could be pregnant by one of these people and you don't know which one, I don't know what is going on. So how you feel is you want a brand new beginning. You're in your empress mode, your empress status. You're either ready to have a baby, you're ready to get married. The empress um, is a married married woman. Could be the emperor or a married man. So if you're married, you're stepping outside of your relationship. You don't intend to leave your husband or your wife, but you are entertaining other options. This is what this deception is about. This doesn't have to be your story. But others of you, Aries, I just see you... Just being selfish. I'm not gonna lie. You're very that's that's all I see. You're you you deserve love. You don't really care about anything else. If you want to talk to somebody, you're gonna talk to somebody. If you want to date somebody, you're gonna date them. If you want to sleep with them, you're gonna sleep with them. And you don't give a fuck about any of that. You don't care about how anybody else feels. Very selfish type of energy, and there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like you're like, it's about time I just start doing me and I don't care what other people have to think anymore. Okay, so maybe this is very freeing for you, Aries. Tell me about Aries person. Nine of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, they like you. They like you a lot. They want more from you. So either you're playing games with them or they're playing games with you. One of you, Nine of Cups, you're their wish fulfillment. They're, they will work on this relationship with you. They want this to be fair and balanced. They possibly even want marriage. We have justice. We have the empress. And we also have the hierophant. If I could get the card. So this is marriage energy. So plain and simple. You're not ready to settle down yet. You still want to play games or this person. You could be dealing with a Libra, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Capricorn, Virgo. All right. Taurus. What's going on for you, Taurus? Whatever messages come out for you, Taurus. Remember, these are general. Only take the messages that resonate. Let's get a general message for you, Taurus. Then we'll look into love. This is for Taurus. Seven of Cups, you're exploring your options. Five of Cups, which you're sad. These options, you don't like it. Here you are, Taurus. You like being single, but at the end of the day, you you still want to go home to somebody yeah lovers you still want 
you still even though you want to be single and explore your options i feel like you're not being fulfilled out in these streets you're not being fulfilled with these options you want something more solid you want somebody to come home to or at least you want to have that one person at the end of the day okay so i'm seeing you could possibly want to have your cake and eat it too so maybe you're seeing that whatever it is you've been looking for whatever it is that used to fulfill you is not fulfilling you like it used to it's just becoming a lot of burdens okay you want to be single but you still want to be held down independent so i don't what is going on taurus The Ace of Swords, the Star, Wheel of Fortune. You want a change in your life. I do see clarity. I see you going towards some type of wish fulfillment that actually um, fulfills you. It's not some type of instant gratification. Because these options, they're just leaving you sad. Seven of Cups, Five of Cups, they're just leaving you sad. And you're moving away from that. It's like, I hear like, man, that's childish. I don't do that shit no more. That's childish. Because you go from the Nine of Pentacles to the Queen anyway, okay? So you can be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, like I said, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus, Cancer, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, Venus. All right, let's take a look at love. All right. This is for Taurus. overall energy you have a lot of chemistry with someone there is a strong magnetic attraction between you and this person you just gotta let go of these control issues you are this person allow the situation to unfold naturally and express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so yeah you have chemistry with somebody yeah ace of cups look at this a brand new love cycle with a libra or a scorpio I hear <laughs> these feelings just sprang up on you out the blue. You developed these feelings towards this person. So, some of you could have been trying to control the situation. It could be someone from your past, someone you have a um, connection with, a very strong connection with. Yeah, this Taurus, another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Yeah, this is your soulmate. You can have children with this person. The star. I'm getting past energy. The ace of swords. The magician. You can be dealing with... Yeah, I'm getting past energy. There was some heartbreak in the past, and I feel like you two had to separate to come back together but there was a lot of separating coming back together separating coming back together because somebody kept trying to control the situation and it's and what you should have just did was just express yourself to this person so i feel like if this is a new love cycle with a new person this go around you're going to be more expressive more open and it's you know you don't want it to just be sex based you want to get to know this person get to know their morals and values and things like that and actually manifest this being long lasting and once you get to know this person it's like i like this person a lot more than just physical i feel like it's like dawning on you like boom like an epiphany like a light turning on like i actually really like this person Okay, you have a lot of chemistry. So express yourself. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. I see someone will be making a romantic gesture. Queen of Wands. Two of Pentacles. Three of Swords. Yeah. So here's the King of Pentacles. Two of Cups. And then the King of Wands. Wow. So we have two pairs right here. The King and Queen of Wands. This could be someone from the past, so this could be your divine counterpart, Taurus. Yeah, the King and Queen of Wands, and then we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. So, if those of you were with your someone, you so for you, Taurus, you might have two twin flames or two soulmates. You have multiple soulmates, of course, but if you failed with one person, I see you two coming back together. This is your divine counterpart. Others of you, I'm getting um. 
if you failed with your divine match, I feel like spirit is bringing another person, another divine soulmate into your life for you to do it right this time. I'm hearing for some of you, um, and this could be like for like 1% of you, I'm hearing that your soulmate passed away and you're meeting another soulmate in this lifetime. Okay, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, um, Libra, Aries, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Taurus, Pisces, Cancer, Leo, Gemini, Scorpio. Gemini, what's going on? What's good with you, Gemini? Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Gemini. All right, let's see what's going on. This is just some general messages. Page of Swords, the Emperor, Ten of Swords. So, the Chariot and the Sun card. So, I'm seeing... <sighs> Gemini, I see that there's somebody you let go of and you stop talking to them. They hit you up for your birthday. They're hitting you up for your birthday. Yeah, they are. And you're like, fuck, why are you hitting me up for my birthday? I'm trying to get over you. I'm not done. I'm, I'm not done. My bad. I meant to say, I'm done with you. I'm not talking to you. Somebody says, I'm not done with you. Okay. Nope. I'm not done with you. Six of Cups. What's this ten of swords? They really hurt you. Or you really hurt them. The ace of cups. They want to renew this. The fool. Here they come. This cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Cancer, Aquarius. Here they come. So what I'm seeing is for your birthday, you get some type of wish fulfillment. If there was a, a hurtful ending, spirit is going to be healing you in some type of way. I feel it could be with a new person with the sun card. It could be a Leo. Also, I'm hearing um, good news on your dad's health, if that applies to you. Yeah. I hear the insurance has been approved or it's been found. If someone lost the insurance, it's going to be found. Okay. Anything else for Gemini? Yeah, Ace of Wands, Seven of Wands, Temperance. Queen of Cups. I see you're dating around. You have multiple people to choose from. But I see that um, the Emperor. Someone, I see that someone is going to be in a connection or a relationship. And the other, there's a person outside of you and your connection. I don't know who this person is, but they're going to be really angry about it. I feel like it could be your sister. I'm getting sister energy. It could be your sister or your brother. It could be even your cousin or something. Somebody's going to be upset to the point to where they're like arguing with you, trying to get you to not do something, and you're like, I'm going to do it regardless. Yeah, I'm going to do it regardless. Why are they mad? Who is this? Why are they mad? Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Cups five of cups okay this person is upset because they're scared of people not needing them this person needs to be needed and so when you don't need this person or if this person feels like you don't need them they get upset and start arguments with you you could be dealing with a taurus virgo capricorn cancer pisces sagittarius libra scorpio sagittarius taurus scorpio leo aries libra Aquarius, Pisces. Gemini, another Gemini. Alright, what's going on in love? May 29 through the 4. 
it's safe for you to love Gemini. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And go ahead and give this relationship a chance. Work on the partnership, okay? You could be dealing with the Pisces. I keep seeing the High Priestess. There's some type of secret or a need for you to listen to your intuition. This is for Gemini. Yeah, Seven of Wands. Here go this hater again. Four of Wands. Protect your home. Protect your children. Could be done with an Aries. Clear out the Seven of Wands. I'm gonna move this over here. That's a separate energy. Clarify the Seven of Wands. Five of Pentacles, yeah. Seven of Wands, Five of Pentacles. The Wheel of Fortune. If you lost some type of money, lost the bed or something like that. I hear it's termites in your home. Um, pay for somebody to fix that. What? Temperance. Oh, yeah. Be patient. Okay. What's this five of pentacles for? You could have just lost your job. Don't worry about it because spirit is blessing you with another job. If the market crashed or something like that, I'm hearing somebody gave you bad advice or fake news. Bad advice or fake news to trigger you. Be patient and do not um go. Don't don't get upset. Don't let them rile you up because people are watching you. Okay? Your victory is assured as well. No one can get in the way of that. I see happiness, fun, travel, celebration. You could be getting a call as well. Be patient because I hear some, I just see somebody is upset, irate, angry. That has nothing to do with you. You're on the right path. The wheel is going to be turning for you. Okay, people, I just see people are just mad. Protect yourself. Okay. Yeah, four of wands, six of cups, a soulmate, a relationship. You're happy. Four of swords, you can rest. Four, four, you can rest. Two of cups, yeah. You're happy, you can rest. Ace of cups, you look good. Celebrating, like wish fulfillment. Spirit really wants you to just relax. People are angry that has nothing to do with you, okay? Nothing. Four could be important. You could be seeing four, 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 Four days, four weeks, four months, four years, four hours, four minutes, whatever that means to you, okay? The uh, world, the world, the world. You could be dealing with the Virgo. I see a secret money coming in as well, the stock, an investment, something like that. Someone is mad. You have good luck. Someone wishes they would have played those numbers. Someone wishes, I don't know. Someone is also mad because now they're the information that they gave you. I don't, they're like, they wish they would have lied to you and not told you so they could have kept the good news or the information or the numbers, something like that, to themselves. Because I see good luck. You're going to win something, some type of money, some type of information. And they're mad. I don't know why they're mad. Yeah, they're mad. Ten, ten of wands, five of wands. They see you glowing up. They see you doing good. Okay? The magician, you, you're the manifester. Just be just be you. Stay silent. Listen to your intuition. Keep your secrets. Keep it close to your chest. I don't know why these people are mad, but for some reason, spirit keeps wanting me to let you know, hey, they're mad. They're haters. Don't worry about them. You can be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You're happy. I see you happy. Doing good. People are mad because they wanted you to do bad without them. Okay. Yeah, your relationship is great. Your relationship is great. It's balanced. It's fair. 
okay like nothing you can't touch this relationship people are mad because they can't touch your relationship gemini they just can't okay give this relationship a chance it's safe for you to love come on cancer Taking a new leap of faith. This is your general portion, y'all. Taking a new leap of faith. You've been waiting on this, investing. You knew it was going to happen. Yeah, the world card. A new cycle. You're traveling as well. Cancer, you're preparing for your birthday. Gemini season. Uh, Cancer said, Gemini season gone. Come and go because it's almost Cancer season. I don't give a fuck what none of y'all say. We might as well skip Gemini season. A lot of you are having deja vu. I just had deja vu. Okay, Cancer. Yeah, traveling, moving forward. I see some of you could be getting a new job. Okay, getting a new job. I see some type of money, some type of investment as well. I see love, travel, and money. You can have it all. You don't have to choose between love and money. Everything is good. You don't have to choose. Everything is good. You don't have to choose. You're the boss. Okay, you can be dealing with the Sagittarius, Aries, Taurus, Pisces, Aquarius. You don't have to choose. Look at this, Cancer. Three of Swords, what's that about? There was a point in time where you kept leaving one thing and coming back, leaving this person, coming back to this person. I feel like this cycle is finally over and you're free, Queen of Wands. Yeah, you are free. I see you have a new relationship. Could be with the Gemini. Take some time. For some of you, you are over this cycle. The rest of you, it's going to be over soon enough. Divine timing. You're going to have to heal from that. It's a healing that you got to do because when you do something over and over and over again, it becomes repetitive. It becomes... A habit it becomes a way of life. This is a way of life, a cycle that you're literally breaking. Could be breaking a generational curse as well. If you talk to your mom, your mom went through it. If you talk to your grandma, your grandma went through it. For the men, if you talk to your dad, your dad's been through it. Your uncle's been through it. Your grandpa been through it. It's, this is something that's been going on in y'all family for a long time. And it's like, why are we like this? Why have we not found love? Or why has money been like this for us? Or why this or that? And it's been a, if you look, it, it stems back from, Generation to generation, I see you finally breaking that, okay? A lot of you are reading your Bible a lot more. Who is this, Cancer? Yeah, you could be dealing with an Aquarius, Leo, Gemini, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Aries, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? You're being set free from something. What about love? Separation. Exactly. Finally. If you've been finally trying to separate and end it for good, it's happening. Separation. Time apart from your person is on the horizon. Overall energy, forgiving and learning. You forgave this person, you're learning. You, you're trying to release this person and heal from the past because you want to experience more love in your present moment. If you know if you keep holding on to this, you ain't going to be able to experience real, genuine, true love. Yeah, you want a new beginning. You could be dealing with the Leo. This Leo could be the new person coming into your life. Yeah, a lot of victory and success. Once you let the past go, life is going to completely change for the better. Yeah, new love. Oh, Page of Cups turned to the King of Cups. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Could be with the Pisces. Leo. Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. This is beautiful. So your love life is really 
going to change after this separation time apart from your person is on the horizon i feel like during this time apart you're getting so much more peace it might be peace after the storm i'm not seeing the storm lasting too much longer these are beautiful cards beautiful energy you're forgiving and learning you've been illuminated the wheel is literally turning for its goodness coming and i feel like you're just like it's about time like i deserve to feel good i'm like this separation it's not a bad thing you're releasing and healing from the past so you can experience more love. Here's more love that you're experiencing with your friends, family members, new friends, co-workers, new lovers. Okay, I see you going out of town. I hear you. I, I hear you literally saying, I'm going out of town. I'm going out of town. You already went out of town. I'm going out of town again. Okay. All right, Cancer. Beautiful energy. So we dealing with the Leo, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Tor Taurus, okay. Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Come through, Leo. Leo, what's going on? Leo. Leo. Okay, come through, Leo. Shit. Come through. Okay. Damn, Leo. Just like that, huh? Ten of Cups, straight out the gate. Happiness, abundance. Come through, Big Leo. Come through. Okay, come through. Come through, Leo. We're okay. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Okay, I see some haters. I see some jealous people. I see envy. Okay. I don't see you really worried about that. All right, I'm back. So, what's after this five of wands? Let me see. Let me let me gather myself together. Oh, okay. People are mad. People are mad because you're being presented. I'm mean, I'm seeing that. What is that? The crab in the barrel, the crabs in the bucket scenario. People get mad and try to pull you down when you try to lift yourself up. Is that what's going on, Leo? Because you, you're being presented with a new opportunity, a new road, a new option, a new way to go. Okay? And people may be mad about it. That ain't none of their business, though, Leo. Not exactly. Six of Swords. That ain't none of their business. Yeah. People don't like the fact... People don't like that. I don't know what it is about Leos, but people... I don't know... Like, Leo, if people feel like you're leaving them behind, they get, like, so upset, okay? Right, but they always got some shit to say about Leo. Tell me what's going on. This is your general portion. So, I see the family's good, the home is good. I see a soulmate as well. You're in your energy. You're feeling yourself, okay? People could be pocket-watching Ace of Pentacles, Page of Swords, I see somebody could be watching you get all this new um, offers and money and love and stuff like that. Death, yeah, you ended it with these old people. Cycle closed. Over. Cycle closed. Okay? The home is good. You could be traveling. You could have got a new home, a new apartment, a new house. Yep, you walked away. This is a lot of walking away energy. The death card is over. The world card, closing cycles, eight of cups, moving on, walking away, going to go find that ninth cup. Five of pentacles. This is a lot of ending type energy, Leo. So you could be dealing with the Scorpio. Endings, endings, endings. A lot of change. So I'm seeing... Um, 
starting things up and ending starting it up again and ending things like that you could be dealing with a libra or have libra in your chart what what why what's all this endings and beginnings you've been indecisive leo you can't ignore certain things anymore so leo maybe you have a habit of walking away instead of facing it head on Ten of Swords, Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. You can be done with an Earth sign or an Air sign. This person loves you. They miss you. They want to get back together. People don't like endings with you because it, it's unfinished business on their end. So, Six of Swords, the Magician. Five of Wands, yeah, there are those people go again. So what I'm saying is, Leo, I know you may want to get away. I know you may want to go ahead and end it. It's over for you. It's squashed for you, but it's not over for them. It's not squashed for them. That's not your issue, but somehow it's coming up in your reading, so it is your issue. Something you're going to have to deal with, okay? Could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Strongly. Spirit is also saying, I feel like Spirit is also presenting you with opportunities on um, revisiting the past. Why do the past keep coming up? I don't know. All right, Leo's love life. Yeah, release your ex. Maybe some of you haven't. This could be the one overall energy. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. So some of you are still tied to another person, whether you want to be with them or not. You're working on your finances and career. Financial issues may be a issue in your love life or an issue in this person's love life. You have a past life relationship with this person. You've known each other before. Okay, so this could be a new person or an old person. This person, could have, look, they could have Leo on their chart. The sun at the top. And then strength at the bottom. They could definitely have Leo on their chart. This is for you, Leo. Leo's love life. Seven of Wands. You could be blocking someone and walking away. You're definitely walking away from something. I feel like this person is trying to hold on to you, though. You're like, I don't know what you're talking about. I'm, I, I don't have an ex. I don't know them. I do not fool with them like that. <laughs> Queen of Wands. You can be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Libra. You're blocking something out. You're blocking out this person you have a past life connection with. But it's hard because they can't stop thinking about you. You can't stop thinking about them. Somebody is the other person's wish fulfillment, but there's been too much drama, conflict, and backstabbing, and it is over. For you, it is, Leo. It's over. So what I see is, in your love life, you just have old energetic ties that haven't um, been broken yet. You just want to be released from it. Could be dealing with another Leo. Someone's watching you. Full card. Mm, what's going on with this Eight of Pentacles? Five of Cups. Mm, someone hasn't let you go. They're still a player. Don't trust them. That's so annoying. That's sick. That is so sick. You have a new person, a new love. Just keep fighting off this old energy. New love is coming. Then whoever this old person is, that is sick. They might be sick in the head or need some type of help because it's it just doesn't make sense to me how you could be holding on to somebody's energy and don't have any good intentions for this person. It's just like, uh okay you can be done with the libra you have new love the ace of cups ace of wands we saw the ace of pentacles come out too you have new love coming it's, it's coming leo don't go back to the past 
unless you want to. If your past person isn't this sick, evil, demonic person, then go ahead. Go to the past if you want to. Work it out. Things are worth working out, Leo, but you have to know what's worth fixing and what's not, okay? You can be dealing with the Gemini, another Leo, Pisces, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius. All right, come through, Big Virgo. All right, this is just a general portion, Virgo. What's going on? Why is everybody blocking and ignoring shit? The two of swords keep coming out. You're indecisive. It's something you're not seeing. You're choosing not to see this new beginning. <laughs> You're stuck on this Aries Leo Sag. Clarify the two of swords for Virgo. Eight of Wands messages. So what I'm seeing is incoming messages. You don't see them coming. A phone call, text message, email, DM, something like that. Yep, here they come. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. So I'm from your past. Or this is you wanting to reach out to them. All right. Ace of Wands for Virgo. This is just your general portion. What's going on? The chariot. Three of swords. Two of cups. There's still love here. So I see in general for you, Virgo, you have to learn how to let things go. You don't know how to let stuff go. We got two tens and the tower. Yeah, four of pentacles. I don't need to clarify no more. Look, you don't know how to let stuff go. You uh beat the dead horse constantly now you just got a dead zombie horse okay so you can be done with the scorpio taurus capricorn leo aries sagittarius cancer Virgo. Okay. Overall energy. You have romantic feelings towards someone. They're real and they're worth exploring. Or this person. They have romantic feelings towards you. They're real and they're worth exploring. But someone is codependent and they have addictions. These addictions could be affecting the relationship. Or someone could just be obsessed. Remember I told you, Virgo, you don't know how to let stuff go. This Leo. You're obsessed over this Leo. Okay. All right. You hold on to stuff too long. Maybe this is what that codependency is. You just hold on to shit too long. What are you holding on to this shit for? The strength card could also be trying to hold back lust. So you could be very lustful, very passionate and shit, you know. Okay. Clarify strength for Virgo. Okay, we got the three of wands coming out. Clarify strength in the three of wands for Virgo. Page of wands, yeah, very lusty. I see a freak. Like I see a, a freak just hunching on everything. Humping on everybody, hunching on everything. Okay, right. So, clarify justice. The hair fan. Could be dealing with the Taurus. I see marriage here. Mm. Virgo, what I'm getting is there's somebody you have this connection with and it's almost obsessive like to the point to where like Vir this is how virgos are and you can't tell me this not how you are virgos have like super super deep naughty dirty secrets and 
fetishes like that. They don't say out loud. This is true, Virgo. Don't lie. And what I'm seeing is it's coming out in these cards, these deep, secret, hidden, tucked away fetishes and wants and desires and things like that that you have for this person or you could have for multiple people or this is what they have for you i see somebody wanting to like tie you down i see a rope i see somebody being tied down held down somebody's fetish could be bondage yeah I guess somebody also, um, I'm not saying all of that stuff, but yeah, like BDSM and all of that stuff. I hear yelling and screaming. Okay, I'm out of here. You can be done with an Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra, Taurus, Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. So if anybody has some type of kink or some type of fetish, I see it being fulfilled. Or you're going to go find it. Come on, Libra. Let's go. This is for Libra. This is a general portion, Libra. Okay, you got love. Love messages. A solid offer. Commitment. This person's coming towards you. They're at a distance. I hear this person say, I told you I'd be back. I told you I'd be back. And you're trying to hold back from this person. Could be a Leo you're dealing with. Someone who broke your heart. Eight of Wands, hear those messages. Seven ones, you're trying to block this person. You have history with them. They stress you out. Yeah. Nine of swords, five of cups. This person ghosts you. They're in and out of your life. I'm getting a narcissist. This person is not a nice person. They're like, I told you I'd be back. They want you to let them in. They want you to let them in your life whenever. They want to be able to come in and out of your life whenever. That's not everybody's story. What else is this? Clarify the seven of wands. Four of Cups, you're not interested. Also, I see you dating a lot of people. For some reason, the offers that you're getting, you don't really like them like that. You don't, Libra. You know, they're not doing it for you. You have two of Wands. They're not doing it for you, Libra. Uh, but I see you. Why are you not excited to date around? Just have fun. Why is this not fun for you? Okay. You're just like, no, I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm too wounded. I'm hurt. This is boring. This is not my cup of tea. So what I'm saying is, Libra, you just have to find your cup of tea. It's coming. Yeah, Ace of Cups, the um, High Priestess. I was going to say the Empress. You be dealing with the Libra, Pisces, something like that. Or it's, it's only this one person that piques your interest. If it's not them, then you don't want nobody. If it ain't you, then it ain't nobody. Okay? If it's not them, you don't want it. If it's not this person, place, thing, situation, you don't want it. You just got to find what, you know, floats your boat, Libra. I see you trying everything. I hear I've tried everything. <laughs> I've tried everything. This will pass, Libra. Chill. <laughs> you'll, you'll be fine, I promise. I'm not laughing at you. It's just cute, okay? You can be dealing with a Pisces, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Also, this person who is so annoying to you, they're going to grow on you to the point to where you don't want to go a day without seeing them. So don't sleep on them. Yeah, engagement. Yeah, exactly, Libra. This person is going to grow on you. Release your ex, but you have not released your ex. Maybe this is why you're so unsatisfied, codependency. You feel like nobody can make you happy but this person. 
or vice versa it could be your cross watcher we got the five of cups exactly it's it's over done dead as a doornail i'm also getting if someone did pass i'm sorry i do send my condolences okay i'm sorry i love you guys libra clarify the five of cups in regards to libra's love life if it's not this ex you have to release it's just the energy the time has come to clear your energy sage your home put in some palo santo i see somebody has been crying obsessively trying to hold back the tears obsessively crying I've tried everything. I've tried everything. I can't. My heart is still broken. I've tried everything. Nothing is working. I'm miserable. I feel like you might be addicted to the hurt or the pain, Libra. It's time to be happy. It's time. It's time, Libra. You might be fighting it, but it's time. I don't know if you feel like you're betraying this person. If you move on, you're not betraying them. You have to go be happy, Libra. Get out with your friends. They miss you. They've been calling you. You've been declining and dodging. Okay. Go out there and live. Live your life. Plug my phone in. There we go. All right, Libra. I do see love coming in Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have opportunities and options. You can. It, it's okay to take things slow, though. Because I see the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Cups. One is, like, some part, somebody, I don't know who they are. They ain't shit. This person is probably just to pick me up for you to have fun. Get out there. Don't get too attached to this person, the Knight of Wands. There's another person coming after. So, it's levels to your healing and your growth, Libra. You can't confuse some a seasonal person for a lifetime person. If this person was only meant to be in your life for a season, let that season come and go. Don't try to hold on to them. Scorpio. know how this gonna be i already know how this gonna work you wild you wild scorpio <laughs> y'all is getting wild what she say pull on me you do 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 <laughs> i wanna get wild take me for a ride boy show me your wild side <laughs> scorpio And say, I ain't let my freak out in a little minute. Oh, shit. <laughs> you go, King of Wands. Here you go. I knew it. It's the Sagittarius. It's the Sagittarius, Gemini, Pisces, Aries, Aquarius. Could be another Scorpio. Someone with Scorpio in their chart. Yeah, take me for a ride, boy. Show me a wild side. Now, for some of you, I see that there's an older man. Or somebody who could, I'm not going to lie, I see you could be having a connection with the married man. I don't know if you know they're married or not, but this, this, I'm getting hot just thinking about it. I don't even know if I can say that. This, whoever this person is, this guy, that, I don't know what type of nether regions, I don't know what type of stuff they got down there in their pants, but damn. You ain't never had no shit like that before. Ever. Ever. That's the shit that make you. Okay? All right. I ain't, I'm done. Others of you, you want to let the freak out. I see it. I see it coming out. You're just waiting on the perfect occasion. I feel like you're waiting on somebody to call you, too. You're planning it out. I feel like you've been planning this for three weeks. Three damn weeks. I'm going to call you Aquarius. Who is this? Scorpio? You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Libra, Aries, Pisces, Aquarius, Gemini, Sagittarius. I see you having fun. A lot of majors that come out that came out too. One, two, three, four, five, six majors. 
Yeah, so I see you you be going on a um, vacation, vacation, six days. You could be spending time six six nights, six days, six nights, something like that. Something. I get some type of initiation. Are you going to some type of rave or something? Some type of rave? Seven of Wands, Two of Cups, Five of Wands. What the fuck is this? Forbidden Love. Six of Wands, Two of Wands, Eight of Swords. A lot of fire as well. You might have fire in your chart if this person does. What is this trying to tell me? I see love, a connection. You're pushing this connection away because it's too much drama. I feel like you, this person is trying to push up on you. And the more they push up on you, you feel like you might do it. But you're like, okay, I want to be able to hit it and quit it. Or I want to be able to do this one time. So I don't know if y'all are trying drugs for the first time <laughs> or something like that. You're doing something for the first time. Or you're doing something for the first time in a long time. And you're like, I want to do this really bad, but I want to make sure I don't overindulge and continue doing it. I want to be able to break it off. Okay? Right. I see you having fun. You want to get wild. You can know a Gemini. I see y'all could be going out for somebody's birthday. It's somebody's birthday. is the love portion all right scorpio what's going on in love for scorpio release your ex scorpio damn you gotta release your ex too it's time for you to clear your energy you're calling in your soulmate or you're calling your ex you're calling them you have so you you calling them can we can we have sex one last time one last time just one last time or this person is calling you, asking you for sex one last time. Mm -hmm. I say, I, I'm trying to work that. I'm trying to put, put some work on you. This is for Scorpio. Y'all wild, boy. Could be going with an Aquarius. Scorpio. Yeah, somebody from your past. I know what the hell I'm talking about, bro. I know what I'm talking about. It ended, though. Nine of Swords. Yeah, this person stretches you out. Like, you want to so bad, but then again, you don't want to so bad. How bad this person hurt you. I feel like it hurts you to even consider fucking with this person again. It, like, sickens you. I, my stomach just started to turn. You want to move into a new direction. Every time I try to leave, something keeps pulling me back, me back, telling me I need you in my life. <laughs> Every time I try to go, something keeps telling me that everything's going to be all right. You can have kids with this person. Every time you see this person again, you always fall for them. And then you somehow you always drop the draws. This person ain't shit. Seven of swords. They ain't shit. King of Wands. They got that thing, that thing, that thing. Y'all life is a damn music video. Shit, Scorpio. Oh my gosh, please. Nine of Wands. Don't do it. Don't. What do you want me to say? Shit. We got a lot of nines coming out. We got the Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords, nine, nine, nine. Okay, don't fuck with it. Don't fuck with this person. This is go towards. There's a new person coming in. Tell me about new love. Who is this? Scorpio, Four of Wands. Yeah, go towards a new person. Two of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune. I like this new person. They're gonna be a little shy. You might not like the shy type. Here you go, Scorpio. All right. 999 I'm going to put the I'm going to figure out what the number 999 means. 9 weeks, 9 months, 9 days, 9 years, 9 hours, something like that. 9 months pregnant, something like that. So, I'm going to check the description box. I'm going to look up what the number 999 means and put it in there, okay? Or you could just look it up yourself. You could be dealing with a Virgo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Cancer, Pisces. I see messages. I see you fucking with this person again one last time. 
Sagittarius. Oh, shit, my fault. Oh, Lord. All right, Sag. This is your general portion. Give me a second, y'all. Give me two seconds. We're good. I almost dropped my camera. I'm trying to rotate because my leg hurt. Oh, shit. All right. I can't do my readings in my room because my fucking, uh, excuse my language, my bird, y'all. I have a bird and he be screaming his head off. All right, Sag. General portion for Sag. You could be dealing with a Leo. You walked away from a Leo. You didn't walk away from this person, but you're thinking about it. You're emotionally distant. No, you have to wait. What? You could have left someone and you're going towards a Leo. You left this Leo and you're going towards an Aries, Sagittarius, or another Leo. I also see you and this Leo have a long distance relationship, but you want to make it work. You're dealing with two people. Someone from your past and a new person. Others of you... You're getting offered with a, another job. You have a job, you're being offered with another job. You're trying to figure out if you're gonna work one or the other or work both. Others of you, I see that even though this thing is good for you, you're not satisfied. The Eight of Cups is like not being satisfied emotionally. For some reason, you're not satisfied emotionally. Oh yeah, others of you, what I'm seeing is you wanna see your children you just want to see your kids again. <sighs> Seeing your kids makes you happy. Or if you feel like... What I'm saying is, you're not being honest with yourself, Sagittarius. You think this person doesn't make you happy, but they do. You think these people or this job doesn't make you happy, but it does. Because if you ever lost it or stopped talking to these people, you'd be unhappy without them. Could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay. All right, so general. Um, messages for you, Sag. Stop capping. You're capping. Stop capping. Overall energy, stay optimistic about your love life, okay? Be positive. Positive thinking and faith is going to bring you romance. Yep, and then you will have romantic feelings for someone. Your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay? I do see deception right here. So this could be because you cap a lot, Sir Caps a lot, um, Mrs. Caps a lot. You like this person. You love this person. You want to be with this person. Okay, stop capping. I hope I didn't flash, y'all. Lord, because I'm going to have, I don't, ooh, it's fine. Cause I probably have already edited this or will be editing this. All right, what's going on in your love life? Sag. Could be done with the Libra. A lot of truth, clarity, but you're lying to yourself like you're not heartbroken and you is. There is opportunity for new love. Sir Caps a lot. What is this?
clarify the three of swords. Someone has anger issues. I'm also hearing, what is that called? What is that? Self, self def what is that word called? Where you hurt yourself. Like, I feel like if this person gets mad at something, mad at themselves or mad at another person, they'll hit themselves. Or something like that. Or they'll call themselves stupid. I'm seeing someone hurting themselves. Someone might have anger issues or mental health um, illnesses. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles. The Lovers. There's someone you're still in love with. And you keep beating yourself up about it. So... I see a Sagittarius who was in love with someone. It didn't work out with that person. They started dating a new person. It didn't work out with the new person because they were still stuck on the old person. After they lost the new person that they were with, they found out that they weren't so stuck on that old person and they wish that they would have been more open with the new person. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This could be a um, warning for you, Sagittarius. I know you may be heartbroken over your ex or something like that. But when new love comes in, try to cherish it. Try to explore it because, damn, we're going to lose out on this new person too? You could be dealing with the Scorpio, Leo, Libra. My heart hurts for you, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with the Gemini. You make me want to cry. Okay, Capricorn. Is your general portion capricorn what are you stressed about who are you stressed about this aries leo sag you're stressed because you got two people to choose from you got to end it with one of them you got to ten of swords yeah if you don't end it with one you might end it with both okay you can be dealing with an aries capricorn taurus virgo leo sagittarius scorpio gemini libra You could be a man who likes men. You could be a woman who likes women. And you don't know how to um, come out the closet. Yeah, that's the closet right there. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. The Empress. I saw the Emperor. You could be married. And you could have been stepping out on your wife. Your wife could have been stepping out on you. If this is not your story, do not take these messages. Okay, y'all know y'all lives better than I do. But what I do see is there's two people here. They could be fighting for this empress. I saw the emperor though. So I'm wondering if you got people competing over you, Capricorn. Or you're competing over you and another person is competing over this one woman or this one man. You could have, if you're this empress, you could have two different baby daddies. Probably even three, however many kids you got. Yeah, Page of Cups, you got kids. Eight of Swords. Page of Wands, two kids. Eight of Cups. Look at all these eights, five of Swords. So what I'm seeing is, if you have with the devil, it's you. So, Capricorn, you ain't shit. And I'm going to tell you why. Nine of Pentacles. You're dealing with multiple people and you let them know that you have multiple people and you tell them, I can have whoever I want 
you either gonna step your game up or I'm gonna go over here where I'm appreciated. And they got people in their head trying to impress you, fight for you, okay? Each of these people wanna be your number one, your main. And Capricorn is saying, may the best man win, may the best woman win. You be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, you got your options open. Definitely. I'm not settling down until I get a ring at all. I'm dating everybody. Fuck you mean. Also, your baby daddies are upset. And I don't know what the fuck this is talking about. If you have two different baby dads, one of them is like trying to put one son, like trying to put the brothers against each other because the baby, the baby dads don't like each other. All right, I'm off of that. But what I'm seeing is you could have two offers. Yeah, page of cups, page of wands, two offers. You got the king of wands, king of pentacles. The page of wands turns into the king of pen. Uh, I'm sorry, page of wands turns into the king of wands. You could be dealing with the fire sign, sun, moon, rising, Venus for the longest. So the fire sign is like I've been I've been rocking with you longer than any of them. How you just gonna do me like that? You know, <laughs> somebody is really mad. Okay, you can be done with an Aries Leo Sag, <laughs> Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra. I saw the Emperor and the Empress. So what I'm seeing as well is as soon as you get in a relationship, all these motherfuckers, karmics, um, as soon as you get into a relationship, I see so many people wanting to holler at you. So many people wanting to chase you. So many people wanting to do right by you now. Out the fucking blue. Okay. What about your love life? Give me something from the romance angels. Overall energy. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. There are signs that you got to pay attention to. Keep an open mind. Your love life may, I'm sorry, your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. That's why you're keeping your options open. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. You're keeping your options open. It's going to be a real nice summer for you. You're going towards the Leo, though. This Leo, Aquarius, Sagittarius, or Gemini. You look good as hell, too. If you got fire in your chart, I see the Queen of Wands. I hear sex game good. Pisces, Gemini, Nine of Swords. What's this Nine of Swords about? Five of Cups, Ten of Swords. Shit. King of Pentacles. This Earth sign is going to be pissed. You might need to get a restraining order against this Earth sign. They're not letting you go without a fight. Or this is you. Capricorn, if you don't get this person, if you don't win this person's heart of this love or whatever competition this is, whatever this is, you're going to be pissed. And you're not going down without a fight at fucking all. they going to rule the day they try fucking with you. Yeah, here's the emperor right here. We saw the empress. My leg is killing me, y'all. Shit. Okay, you can be dealing with a Pisces, Gemini, Scorpio, Gemini, Strong, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Moving on to Aquarius. This is your general portion, Aquarius. We got the Nine of Cups right here. Knight of Cups. Four of Wands. Okay, Ace of Wands. Okay, I see a new person coming in. Nine of Cups there, wish fulfillment. This is the overall energy. So what you don't expect, what you don't see coming is at the end of the day, after all of the things are said and done, you, your wishes are going to be fulfilled. You're someone's wish fulfillment or someone is your wish fulfillment. Because you closed the cycle. You started a new chapter. Started a new life for yourself. I hear you got a new name. Okay. Did you change your name or something like that? 
this is just the general energy five of swords justice yeah you ain't nobody's fucking fool that's what i heard i'm nobody's fool i am nobody's fool you can't play me about this shit i know what i know you cannot play me okay don't play with me play with your mama is what i heard okay that's just what i heard Yep, exactly, high priestess. You know this shit. You're not new to this. You're true to this. That's it. That's all. You're not explaining yourself at all. And you're happy, content. Okay, you can have Pisces, Pisces, Libra, or Virgo in your chart. Aries, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. I see a new wand as well. Shit. Yeah, a new wand. This fire sign. I hear they're knocking you down good. Whew. Your skin glowing. Shit. All right, Aquarius, let's go. Because you've released your ex or it's about time to release your ex, clear your energy. Because you want to attract new love and you want to experience more love by just enjoying life. If this thing don't stay up, I'm going to just have to change how I got it set up or whatever. Because I got it set up weird, my banjo. Love looks good for you. Four swords, rest easy. Yeah, I see somebody knocking you down like you're going to be in the bed for a couple of hours after this. Page of Cups could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, Ten of Cups the sun y'all fucking nasty bro this is one of the nastiest readings that i've ever like the things that i'm hearing in my head is some of the nastiest shit ever in life shit you be dealing with an aries okay yeah this shit this is some freaky ass energy bro damn Y'all can have multiple people to choose from. This is what I see. Look, the ace of... So, let me read the cards first. So, I'm seeing you resting easy. So, the energy that I'm getting is if you're rebounding somebody, if you released your ex, I see you um, possibly meeting a new person, an Aries, Taurus, Capricorn, Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, um, Cancer, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This person is going to literally, literally change your life after y'all have sex after you have this type of sex you can't go back to the other sex that you used to have or whatever type shit okay this is literally life changing others of you so i have to be a sex read but i do see a new offer coming but you have so many options the knight of pentacles knight of swords knight of wands three rounds back to back to back three different people three different suitors six of cups page of wands so yeah y'all be careful y'all can get pregnant this aries that's a lot of fire in your chart some of y'all could be having threesome shade you can be dealing with the scorpio who is this aquarius ace of swords ace of wands four of wands so if this is a sex reading i i'm not getting past the look ace of cups y'all have all four aces ace of wands ace of swords ace of cups where's the ace of pentacles i've seen it so in your love life here's a new person you've released your ex and you're so attractive you are so attractive i see people wanting to worship you literally kiss your feet sucking your toes shit like that I see you being pleased in every single way possible, intellectually, physically, sexually, emotionally, financially. Okay? I know that's fucking right. You could be dealing with all the signs. All the signs came out, y'all. The only major that came out was Aries in this spread. Aries and Scorpios, but you can be dealing oh and Leo. So you can be dealing with the Gemini Libra Aquarius, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Aries, Leo, Sash, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The only major that came out was Scorpio. Aries, Leo. But yeah, y'all can be dealing with anybody. Release your ex. It's time to clear your energy. Um, like that sage. 
Do your affirmations. Heal yourself. No more looking back at the past because you are attracting some good stuff to you. Very good. Last but not least, Pisces. Right. Okay, there we go. All right, what's going on for Pisces? This is a general energy. Family's good, home is good, love is good. Whoa, are you pregnant? You're finding out that you're pregnant. Somebody's finding out that they're pregnant or married. Yeah. This looks good for you. The family is good. What I'm seeing is unexpected sex and unexpected pregnancy. So wrap up because we got the tower and the ace of wands. Also wrap up because, you know, the tower and the ace of wands represent sex for me. But this could represent STDs as well, y'all. So y'all just be safe, okay? Who is this? Pisces, okay. The family looks good, though. Ten of cups and the temperance. A lot of peace, balance, victory. It's peaceful here. Like, it's not too loud. It's not too noisy. It's not too quiet. Like, literally, the temperature is great in the house. Not too hot. Not too cold. You're comfortable. Well taken care of with the Empress. She could be dealing with the Libra, Sagittarius, Scorpio. Shit. Yeah, you could be pregnant. The Queen of Cups. Okay. I hear I want to impregnate you. This is someone's feelings. Yeah, like you're not gonna be single no more. Nine of Pentacles. Like you look damn good. I'm gonna make sure I take you off the market. Yeah, the lovers, King of Wands. This is Aries, Leo, Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or this Aquarius, Queen of Swords. Yeah, no. You think? You thought? You thought you was gonna be single? You thought? You thought? No, this person don't like that. <laughs> they don't like that. Excuse me. You can be dealing with the Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, Libra. The home is good. Everything is good. You look good. I hear, um, I hear you've been working out. Also, you've been fasting. I hear there's something different about you. Someone's saying that to you. There's something different about you. What's going on in your love life? All right, we have unrequited love. You don't love somebody the same or somebody don't love you the same. Shit. I'm going to just move this. It's pissing me off. Okay. I'm going to put it right here because I'm getting pissed. So, yeah. So, we got codependency coming out. Addictions are affecting your love life, finances, and career. Somebody could have a money spending addiction, some type of shit, calling in your soulmate. So really make sure you pay attention to the frequency you're on. We have trust. Allow the situation to unfold natural shit. The situation is calling you to have faith. My fault. But I said that for a reason. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So what I'm getting is Pisces. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. There's somebody that you've been calling in because whoever this codependent person is, like, you don't want to rely on them. I don't know if y'all have money together, assets together, history together, some shit like that. But it's like, you're trying to call in something new. I don't feel like this is you being codependent. This could have been you in the past. Yeah, Six of Cups. It could have been you in the past, you and this person, or you in this situation. Could have been very codependent. Could have been, you could have even been just addictions, could be addictive personality traits and shit like that. Thinking you need someone, or being a narcissist, or the trauma of dealing with the narcissist could be that codependency. And you're trying to call in something new, working on your money, finances, and career. All right, this is your love life. My deck reverse. My deck is reversed. The Ten of Pentacles came out reversed, so I'm keeping it. Nine of Swords. You're worried about money. Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's been an ending of divorce. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now.
whatever it is that you decided to end, decline, it's over. There's no, there's nothing that can rectify this. The money is gone. I'm sorry. Or whatever it is, it's over. It's not going to be the same. You can't revive it. But I do see you calling in someone else, something else, calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations, visualizations, bring you together. So you've been obsessing over this, over trying to call this person in because of this money. There's been an imbalance, some type of instability. I see you could be calling in multiple people, but you're very emotional at this time. Yep, you're very emotional at this time. So what this is saying is um, your emotions have a big part of how you manifest who you're calling in, what you're calling in, especially how long you're calling things in because you could be calling in um, things that come in an instant, but they're short-lived. So if you want something a little longer lasting, try to raise your vibrations. That's all I see because we have the nine of swords, ten of swords. It's stressing you out this ending. You're still replaying things over and over in your head and you're a lot more sad than what you're letting or, you know, what you're showing people. You need time. You need time. That's the main message. You need time in regards to your love life because this, this toxicity is, um, I hear it's plaguing you. I don't know if it's some type of work or magic or something that somebody did on you as well. But it's like you're being tormented and plagued. So really clear your energy. Okay, here's double codependency, obsession, addictions, and things like that. I hear self-sabotage too, Pisces. You're calling in a pick-me-up. I, I do see a pick-me-up coming. But give me some advice for Pisces. Stores. You got to heal first. You need time. I keep saying that. That's the only thing I see. You need time. You're going to be single a little while longer. You're still calling this person in because you need to work on your finances, work on yourself, release that negativity. You need time. It's come out. So many, it's come out already. Four of swords, three of swords. You need time. Four of pentacles. You need, you need time. Temperance. You need healing. You need time. That's, that's what I have for you, Pisces. Okay. You can be dealing with the Sagittarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Pisces, um, Cancer, Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You are calling in this soulmate, though. You are. Just trust divine timing. This is all I have for y'all. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. You can like, share, subscribe. Leave me a comment. Leave me a little donation book a personal reading with me. Donate to the channel. Check the description box. I love y'all. See y'all later. Bye.